Hi friends, today I'm going to be reading about the book, So You Want to Grow a Pizza? So you want to grow a pizza? You can't grow a whole pizza, of course, but you can grow the ingredients. The crust is made from wheat. For that, you'll need a wheat field. And for the cheese, you'll need milk. That comes from a cow. Do you like pepperoni? That's made from pork, which comes from a pig. Uh-oh. You sh- you, unless you live on a farm, you might be wanting out of space. Maybe you should start simple. Grow the sauce. Pizza sauce is made with tomatoes, garlic, and oregano. These plants need food of their own to grow. Plant inc- food includes water, sunlight, and nutrients. Nu- nutrients which come from the soil choose a sunny spot then add soil you can make your own soil from compost compost is a mixture of stuff that used to grow as plants keep the compost damp and turn it every few days soon worms will move and they'll eat the compost and turn it into soil. This will take a couple months. Now it's time to plant. Garlic takes likes cold water. Plant it in late fall. Pull the clubs of the garlic bulb apart. Plant them each in a small hole. Pointy side up. Your garlic will grow through the winter, but wait until late spring to plant your tomatoes and oregano. Otherwise, they'll freeze. In spring, dig holes for the tomato plants. Place the plants and roots down in the holes. Cover the bases with soil. Put metal cages around the young tomato plants. That way, plants will grow tall and straight, not wild and crazy. Next, the oregano. Make a line in the soil. Sprinkle the seeds along the line. Cover them with soil. Water the garden and wait. You can't see it, but your, your plants are growing slowly. When the oregano seeds sprout, they'll be a little crowded. Pull some so that others have room to grow. Keep watering every few days if it doesn't rain. Also pull up weeds. If you don't, they'll steal food from your plants. Soon, It'll be harvest time. When the garlic leaves turn yellow, carefully pull up the bulbs. Pick the red tomatoes off the vine. Cut some sprigs of oregano. Now you can make the sauce and bake your pizza. And invite your friends over for a pizza party with the freshest pizza sauce in town.